Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room. It's paper pumpkin time tonight. I said I wasn't going to do Friday Night Lives anymore, but you know, paper pumpkin arrived and here I am. So I am live on my page. There it is. And I'm just going to share it to my VIP group so those people can enjoy it too. Mm, that one. Go. All right. So I've already taken the plastic off of it. And I looked at the inside the box. But I did not open anything. And I did not undo the paper. So I have no idea what's underneath the lovely blue paper in here. So... Paper Pumpkin is a kit that comes monthly, delivered right to your door. Well, not always right to your door. It depends on where you live. If you live in a rural area, they may not come to your door. You may have to make alternative arrangements. But for me, it comes direct to my door. So I don't get them all the time. But I got this one because it's supposed to be all about the new in colors. So let's open it and figure out what it's all about. There is a basic gray stampin' spot. Now, I don't use these. I save these to give away. And I use my full, my full ink pad. So I've got that out. There's a stamp set. It says, happy to celebrate your day, to have you in my life. Oh, isn't that one nice? You make me, can do anything, and just for you, and then a you. And some dots. Love dots. All right. And here's advertising about next month. So June's Paper Pumpkin Kit is Pick of the Crop. Let's see. What do we see? Some berries, some cheese, some flowers. I don't know. And this is... The new in colors. Okay. Got that. And now we open up the package and see the magic on the inside. I'm just going to take it out. Out of the box. And I'm just going to move my computer over a bit so I can put the box off to the side. So I can put pieces in it that I'm not going to use. Okay. I typically create one of each card and then go rogue and see what I to make at least one alternative card. So I'm just going to nicely fold up this tissue paper because it's awesome for wrapping presents. And so is the box. Like these boxes are pretty... Hi, Connie. These boxes are awesome. They're a perfect size to stuff, uh, I don't know, a pair of socks and a couple of chocolate bars in there. Of course, they'd be good big chocolate bars. Hi, Peggy. Yeah. Who doesn't like getting socks and chocolate? Remember years ago, it was all about holy black socks at Christmas time? It was funny. That year, we got my brother-in-law black socks. It was hilarious. Holy black socks, Batman. All right. And opening things up. See what's in there. I see some in color matte dots. They look a lot like the ones that are we sell in the package of in color matte dots. There's the there's the five colors: Orchid Oasis, Starry Sky, Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party, and Sweet Sorbet. So I'll put those where I'm not going to lose them. These are dimensionals. I'm going to put those in the box because I have my big package of dimensionals. And I save those for when I do my free classes for introductory people. Then I use the, the stuff from the paper pumpkin kit. Oh, some tear and tape. I'm going to save that and I'll get my tear and tape out. There we go. That's all ready to go. Let's see what else we got in here. Envelopes. 
They're all printed on the inside. Parakeet Party, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet, Orchid Oasis, and Tahitian Tide. So they're printed on the inside and plain on the outside. So let's just take out one of each color. I'm sure we're going to have to make one of each. I don't know. Oh, I was going to say, where are the instructions? I hope I didn't throw them away, but no, they're underneath here. I don't even know what they look like. Oh, look at that. There's five different cards, and you make two of each, so you're making ten cards in this one. That is awesome. What a bargoon that is. Nice. So that's where the instructions are. So let's keep going. I got one of each of the five envelopes. Yep. There's some little tiny pieces. We're going to need one of those. Oh, white card bases. There's four, so that means we'll need two of those. Because we're making half of the package. Oh, and there's some more. Oh, I know what these are. These cards go into gift cards, gift card holders. There we are. Get one of those and keep out one of those. Some more card bases. Need one of one of those bases. Get on the box there. That one was trying to crawl out. And one of these. Oops. One of these. And, oh, look, that one's got a fancy edge on it. One of those. And one of these. Ooh, there's lots of pieces. This is cool. And one sheet of those. And a sheet of tags. And I'll just keep that out. We'll see what we need. And then there's the final um, card base that we need. So how's everybody doing? Did you have a good week? Are you looking forward to the long... Do you, do you guys down in the States have a long weekend this weekend too? Or is it just us up here in Canada? Okay, I'm going to need one of these. So we'll just pop one of those out. And these, I don't know what I'm going to need. So I'll keep them over there to the side. Holy man, look at all these pieces we got. Oh, yours is next weekend. Ah, okay. Thanks, Peggy. Yeah, we have a long weekend. And typically, Hubby and I don't go anywhere this weekend because it's it's the first weekend of the, quote, summer. So this is the first weekend that people typically go camping and start their camping, start their going up to the cabin, you know, things like that. So we stay home because... We're retired now. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be nice? We're retired now, so that means we don't have to go on the weekends. And our local grandchildren are homeschooled, so they don't have to go on the weekends either. Ah, good, Connie. Okay. Why do we got one, two... Three and two plain ones make five. I'm just folding them over, making them card bases. Ah, Memorial Weekend, okay. Ours is Victoria. Victoria Day Long Weekend. We celebrate a past queen's birthday. Okay, got our card bases. Got our bits and pieces. Let's fold over. I did see somebody use one of these envelopes. Like they cut it up and they used it on the card fronts. That would be cool. Done that before, more than once. The worst part about these kits is getting everything ready. And then when you start putting them together, it goes in no time at all. And one more, and then we'll get out the instructions and we'll create something. Okay, envelopes, stamp set, ink pad, instructions. 
instructions. Okay, let's see. There's some alternatives they suggest you can make. Look how they use that. That's cool. On a tag. Oh, I have my fun day coming up. My in-person fun stamping day. And there's, I've filled mm, to capacity for what I'm comfortable with. I have five people and I'm going to have five of these left over. I might just use them on on um, a water bottle or something. That would be cool. Anyways, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's look at the cards first. Okay, so this one has stripes. That one has background. That's cool with happy. There's the you and best wishes. Okay, okay. We're going to make the strawberry uh, or the sweet sorbet strawberry where did that come from sweet sorbet so we need we need that card base and we need that piece and we need that piece and we need mm, one of these all right didn't get a block I will get blocks I just grabbed a handful so that I'm prepared no matter what we decide to do all right so apparently you are supposed to stamp your sentiment. Oh wait, that one's straight and that one's flagged. So I got the wrong one. There, that's the one I need. One with a flagging on it. Okay. You can do anything. Just gonna say it's not there, but it is. It is. Hey, right. I always wash my stamps, and I laughed today. I was stamping up has had some virtual events for those of us that earned the the last incentive trip. We were supposed to be on a cruise this week, but of course it was canceled. So. Shelly and Sarah were doing a stamping presentation this afternoon for us. They are so funny together. I love watching them. And when Shelly finds a dirty stamp, if she doesn't have something to clean it on, she licks it. <laughs> so it reminded me of when I get a new stamp and I lick my finger or my hand to clean it the first time. Yeah. It was funny. They are a hoot together. Unfortunately, the platform they were using decided that it was going to um, going to crash right in the middle of their presentation, and it crashed worldwide. So it wasn't just stamping up that we're having issues, but maybe ten minutes, and they had it going again. So I had to pull that out. So I'm going to save that because I don't know might. There's a U. Do you think that U will fit on there? No. I was going to say, wouldn't that be cool if you could stamp on it? But you never know what we're going to come up with. Okay, so this one, um, they say to use the tear and tape, but I'm just going to use... Oh, it's a new one. Oh. My other one ran out last night. Was it last night? I can't remember. So I'm just going to use this. Put adhesive on it. This is Stampin' Seal that I'm using. One of my favorite adhesives. It's fast and it's easy. And I can take it with me when I go places. Okay, now, 
a little bit of Tombow and put it on this middle thing here because I don't want that to pop up. There we go. Okay, now we get the card front and this goes over top of the card front. Take it sway up. And it goes right from one end to the other end. There we go. I just realized this doesn't have any flowers or anything to use on the inside. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to figure something out. There's glue in that there corner. Okay. Then this on dimensionals. Where are my baby dimensionals, as Shelley calls them? The babies. They were stamping with new products from the holiday catalog today. Oh my gosh, they're so awesome. I can't wait for that catalog. Of course, I'm having so much fun with the new annual catalog that's out right now. And now I get to start planning my Christmas classes too. So there we are. That's the card. I just have to add the bling. I'm supposed to add Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, and I don't know what the other one is. Oh, Parakeet Party. I only see two. One, two. Where'd they put the third one? I don't know. I always put three on. I don't put just two because, you know... You have to do things in odd numbers. Right there, I think. There we go. There's the first card. Oh, wouldn't that be a nice card to send to somebody who's graduating? You can do anything. I love it. Okay, then I find the envelope that goes with it. And... Okay, Whoops. Find the envelope Sorry. I just turned my and volume back on. Whoopie be quiet, the... woman. <laughs> All right. I need to find something that I can stamp this with. I have an itchy eye. Okay. What can we put on there? I don't want to put flowers. I don't know. What have I got here? There's there's blotches in there. We can do that. No uh, stamping paper. Put the blotches. What do you think of this idea? Put the blotches on and then stamp them in the colors that match the dots. Would that be okay? Put it on the envelope. Let's start with Parakeet Party. And I put the ink pad on top of my blobs. I will. We'll see what's going on. I kind of like to, to stick to what I'm given for these ones. Now, the only problem is that I like to put cardstock on the inside. And sometimes these cards are not conducive to that because they... Mm, right there. They're a different color of white. And I find it 
quite annoying. So sometimes I just cut the fronts off and put them onto a base. And I can do that because this one is a full card front and it would have gold around it. Sometimes you can't do that either because then it's going on a, a white card base that's different. This is cool. So then you know how I like blotches. Let's just add one there and one there. Yay! Okay, I'm going to get an incomplete site pieces and we'll see what happens. And some card bases. <laughs> Now where's our card? So what do you think? Can you tell the difference between the two? I can't. This is almost this is a lot yellower than that. What do you think? Put it on there or cut it off and put it on a base? And while you're deciding, I'm going to do the dots on this as well. I should have done them while I was dirtying the stamp, but that's okay. One. Ooh. This one that way. Put it down there. And finally, parakeet party. So our weather today was spectacular. We actually had a spring day today. It was lovely and warm. The birds are singing. It was wonderful. Okay. So there's card number one and I will decide whether to what to do with that whether to put it on a card base or just leave it the way it is afterwards that's number one okay let's do number two which is pair or Tahitian Tide we're doing now you make me happy didn't want to do it didn't want to do it there's a song about that, you know. Aren't you glad you tuned in? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't blame you if you went away. Okay. Need the happy. There we go. Let go. That's going to go there, and then I need that straight one that I cut out last time, and this one that has the gold embossed things on it, and the parakeet or the Tahitian Tide envelope. Okay, step one let's stamp. Of course, I lost it. There it is. You know, my table that I work on is about three and a half feet by three feet, and I lose things all the time. And some of most of that is taken up with my my computer. Tornado goes through a town called Gaylord, which is two hours north of us. They had major. Oh no. One person dead and 44 injured. Oh, Peggy, 
That's horrible. Those poor people. Oh my God. Oh, makes me want to cry. That is so sad. Okay. I wish I could send them all a card. Hey, you make me happy. Okay. Now, this goes on here, like that, and then this goes on here with dimensionals. Oops, down a bit, because this goes on top of it like that, also on dimensionals. So, let's get this in there first. I like that they included, oops, um tear and tape with this kit instead of relying on those little glue dot things they normally rely on. This paper feels a lot like watercolor paper too. It's got a, quite a texture to it. It's kind of cool. Oops. Let's just get rid of these little things here. So Peggy and Connie and whoever else is out there, do you get the paper pumpkin kits? They're not for everyone. If you're an avid stamper, these are probably not for you. But I like them because it's creativity that I don't have to come up with. I like our kits. I'm doing my my new stamper classes with uh, the Hope kit. It's not available right now, but um, they love it. I had one new stamper. Just checking that that's not supposed to pop out. I had one new stamper class. And they were so excited. You know, I love seeing faces. Oh, are you? <laughs> Connie says she does, but she's behind doing them. So I love seeing faces of new stampers. The very first time they put stamp to paper, it's like, wow, I just did that. It's kind of cool. Well, I make, when I get my kits, I make one of each and then an alternative, and then I give the rest away. We have a, we have a family member who's having health issues at the moment, and she used to, she used to love coming to my classes. So she gets the benefit of the rest of the kits. I give her the cards that I've created and everything because then she doesn't have to worry about following the instructions and she can use those ones to give away if she wants as well as the ones she does. Okay. Peggy has not gotten any thought about it, but I have to pick and choose as I... Yeah, I hear you, Peggy. They're not for everybody. Okay, so this goes right about there. Well, except that it's really crooked. That's not good. Do you think it'll come back up? I haven't pushed it down yet. And I had a a friend contacted me last week that I haven't talked to in probably five years. It was so nice to hear from her. There we go. That's a little straighter. Ah. 
then you get to buy what you want, Peggy. I used to be one. I used to be a hobby dem demonstrator too. And then I thought, my daughter-in-law needs to do this. And then I thought, well, if she's going to come, let's invite her mom. So I started out, my very first class was my daughter-in-law, her mom, and her aunt. And we had an amazing time. I still remember. It was in my little tiny craft room. And I, I even baked. And I don't do that. Well, there we are. There's that one. Now we get to put the bling on. And they say to put a sweet sorbet one here. And then a um, starry sky one there. And then they say to put um, parakeet party. But ah, I want to use this one. We'll put that one up there. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. That's fun. Okay. Envelope. Mm, dots. Need to get the other colors here. Oh, where did I put the dots down? Hello, where are you? There it is. <laughs> it was hiding. Oh, that reminds me of our... I live with my mom and she has no desire to stamp, but she quilts and, and knits and crochets. Oh, nice. It's okay. Not everybody likes stamping. I don't understand how you can not like stamping, but you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. And you know, there's actually people out there in the world who don't don't do any kind of crafty things. I can't imagine. Like, what do you do with your life if you don't do crafty stuff? can't imagine sitting there at night with the TV on and just sitting there. I'm doing an inside piece just in case I decide I need to do something. Okay, that was sweet sorbet. Mm, I'll do orchid opulence. Nope, that's an old color. I do that all the time. Orchid Oasis It's the one. Oh look, I got it all over there. Yuck. Okay, now we'll just put a little bit of Starry Sky on there. These envelopes are taking forever. As you know, I like to I like to finish things off. Put one down there. There. And there. There. there we go. There's the envelope. I love dots. Do you guys like dots? Do they make your heart happy like they make my heart happy? There we are. So there's card number two, ready to put the inside in and the envelope. 
Now, card number three, we need this one. And a circle that says you. It is cute. I agree. Now this comes out. I have to save that. Cause that's going to be cool on a card. And we need a plain white base. And then this goes in here like that. And we stamp just four on there. There's the envelope that belongs to that. There we go. Okay. Put this on. My stamp and seal. And attach that to there. This paper's got a bit of a texture to it. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Now, stamp. And we need just four. Put this one away. clean before I use it. I'm thinking that my ink pad needs to be re-inked too. There we go. Now this is up on dimensionals. I'll use the big ones. I haven't gotten to the part yet where you make them into gift card holders either. There we are. And finally some bling. Um, dark one up there. And there's that card done. And I'm not going to take time to do the inside the envelope because you got the idea from the last one. That was quick. Nice. Okay, now we have two more. Two more to do. We need a piece that says best wishes. And we need this funky piece. And then card base with the funky base, funky edge on it, because that's going to go right on there like that. Oh, it just matches. Cool. Oh, it goes up on dimensionals. No, it doesn't. No, this goes flat. All right. On with stamp and seal. So tomorrow we're going to our cabin to start packing up our personal stuff because we're putting it up for sale. And I'll tell you, it, it's going to be one sad day. I love our cabin. But it's a water, it's a floating cabin, water access only. And it's difficult to get to in the winter when the storms are raging and that it's going to need new ropes new ropes that tie it down soon which means somebody has to go down in the water 60 feet and replace all the the ropes and hubby is getting too old for that kind of stuff 
So that drove our decision to sell the cabin. That and the fact that I want to spend some of my summers going north to see our northern grandchildren. So you can't, I can't clone myself and do both things at once, unfortunately. Okay, this one goes in the middle, just up about there. Best wishes. And then we add the bling. So if you hear wailing and crying tomorrow, that's me. That's me being sad because I have to give up my cabin. But I'm hoping that we're going to sell it to another family who's going to enjoy it just as much as we have. Okay, so there's the fourth card and the envelope. That's kind of cool. Now, the fifth card. We need these strips. Parakeet Party. What do you think of Parakeet Party? Do you like it? Are you meh about it? Are you on the fence about it? I love Parakeet Party. It's perfect tone of green with a little bit of yellow undertones that make it happy. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to put the white parts at the top. That one, that one, and then a plain one, and then, and uh, do you like it, Peggy? Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely color. Okay, these go on with adhesive. Oops. I hate it when I go off the edge. Because then there's glue everywhere. Maybe I'll just put it down the center of the other ones. Then I don't have to worry about it. Hey, you know what? I think I should have started with the center one. So let's do that. Let's start with the center one. Get it on there. Light at the top. Line it up on... Hang on. I'm just lining it up on my grid paper here. Get it centered. And then we'll center this. There we go. And now this one goes next on the right hand side. And just a little bit of space in between them. Would be fun to do these funky eye, fun funky fied. You know what I mean by funky fied? All different angles instead of straight because you know they're going to turn out to be not straight at some point I think we talked about this last night but um, if you watch Young and the Restless, they just had a they had a really cool wedding. It was all glittery and sparkly. And Phyllis, of course, if you watch it at all, she's always been a clothes horse. Like she has the body to wear incredible gowns, and she does. And she had a gown on for the wedding that I swear was Parakeet Party. It was a long sequin dress and then she had a sequin cape to go with it. It was the coolest thing. 
Okay, these are not exactly centered, but that's okay. Nobody's gonna know. Don't tell anybody. Now I need the happy. Happy's going to go there, and I need one of these long ones. So if you get a chance to watch, I think it was, was it yesterday? No, it was Wednesday. So May the, May the 18th episode of Young and the Restless, if you get a chance to watch it, do, because you need to see that gown. It was spectacular. Okay, put this away. Okay, but my body, my mind hasn't gone happy to celebrate your day. I'm going to change it. Um, I haven't started thinking about a, an alternative card yet, except for the, the green, the funky green slat in different angles and that's going to go right there oops look I just put my finger right in my ink pad all right Now this is supposed to go on flat, but I want to put it on dimensions. I do. What do you think? Dimensionals? It would be kind of flat if they weren't on, if it wasn't on, oh, much better than flat. Oh, yes. Okay, we'll take the liners off here. So I noticed on these cards that they're only using one of the in colors on it at a time which is what I prefer to do because they're so bright they need a lot of white to tone them down okay no I don't like it when it goes that way happy to celebrate your day some dimensionals on this has anybody got big plans for the weekend hey uh, going anywhere doing anything I know it's not a long weekend down there but even in, are you getting gonna get some crafty time Let's just put this right. Is that straight? It is. Right there. Yay! Okay, let's see what kind of bling we can put on here. Mmm. I'll put one of these down there. And then we'll put one of these right there. And I think. I'll use the starry sky right there. Oh, packing. When do you leave, Connie? That's awesome. I'm so excited for you going to see your grandchildren. That Your granddaughter. That is awesome. It's a daughter, right? Did I get that right? So there's our card. And there's the envelope. Now, what is this about gift card holders?
okay. They don't really tell you what to do to make a gift card holder. Except this is the piece and it's got foldies on it. And how's your mum, Connie? Is she still there with you? That there. Like that, I guess. You know, I should have done this on a regular card base instead of on this card base. Then I could have put an inside in. Oh well. All right. Now, I would take a card base, put it inside, and then add this to the card base, like that. Then you can tuck a card in there. But, um, it's the wrong color, so hang on. But get me a piece of Parakeet Party. I've almost used an entire package already. Five and a quarter by four piece of parakeet party. Put it in there like that. Put this on the corner like that. And then, uh, let's see, where are my deckled rectangles? Maybe that size. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, I'm just going to cut a piece of this, a piece of white. And then we'll put that on the inside. Put that there. Perfect. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. Let's get that in. Come on. New moon. Thank you. I got to come up with a two-year-old birthday card, too, for our, our granddaughter's turning two next month. And I really need to figure out a card for her because I haven't done it yet. I find children's cards really hard to do. Ah, oh, shouldn't use the tear and tape. you guys do children's cards? You got any ideas for me? I don't have a, a problem coming up with little boy cards because I've been making those now for 14 years. But the little girl cards are very difficult for me. Okay, so that's going to go on there like that. So that gives that little, that little pocket to tuck a gift card in like that and then we'll put this deco rectangle on there when the kids were when the boys were two <laughs> when the boys were two I just made Lego cards but you know do that for a little girl. There we are. That's cool. I just haven't got 
anything done for the envelope yet. I'll put some dots on it or something, but that is, that worked out quite well. Maybe I'll do that to the other ones. Okay, so now my brain is starting to work. Let's create something with these pieces. Let's, I've got a white card base here. And I really like these. These just feel to me like they need to go on here at jaunty angles. I'm going to have to start, so I'm the guinea pig. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. Like that. Like that. Now, what else have we got that we can use? Uh, there's a U left over. Circle U. And this thing is left over. So if we... Tuesday morning, is that when you... When you fly out that's awesome okay I need a color on underneath here definitely need some kind of color under there okay um mm, we shall try a piece of Orchid Oasis. Let's see what that's going to look like underneath. It needs something. It needs something there. And then these. And that. I don't know, ladies. There. Hmm. Don't like that. I really don't like that. Okay. Scratch that idea. What about if we used this? That's the part that came with the cards. And I can cut along the bottom there. And we can put... Maybe these three on there. The creativity is not flowing like it normally does with these paper pumpkin kits. I don't know. Try to use the bits and pieces and I don't want to cover up the I don't want to cover up the um, the goldy parts on this. I like those colors better than the on the purple. I just got a message. I just got to close it. There we go. Hmm. Don't really have a lot of pieces to play with this time. We've got this, but I don't like that. Okay, um, where are the envelopes? Maybe we need to open an envelope. What will happen if we used 
some envelope, part of the envelope, and did that with it. And then did some of this. And then tuck. Use the other side of that too. Don't need to use. Oh, that's better. Huh. Okay. Bit the stupid thinner and gloss them. <laughs> I read between lines quite good, but that one's got me lost. Float them. I'm going to un unleash this envelope. And we're going to use some parts of the envelope. Oh, look at it inside. Ooh. them upside down. These under there like that. And that on there. Cut them thinner and make a floating circle. Oh, you mean cut die cut out of out of out of window sheet. Window sheet. Circle dots. Circle dies. I lost the window sheet. How big do you want the, the circle to be? How big do you want the circle to be? I think that's a good size. Then you want me to put this in here like that? That would be good. Maybe a little bit bigger. Let's start out with that size. If you don't like it, I can cut it down. Oops, my die moved. trimmer. How wide are these? These are three quarters of an inch. So, oh, it's going to be difficult with this, this thing. It's a good thing this technique works really well with different sizes. Oh, it's crooked. They won't need to be straight though. <laughs> I 
Ooh. Oops, that's the, that's the embosser one. Two more. And one more. We were going to use this last night and never got around to getting it voted on. Okay. And now you lay, layer these on here like this. One up there, and one there, and then this one, and I'll have the light at different ang or at um, different lengths. Okay, I'm going to use my. I shouldn't be using this in public tape because it just makes life so much easier. Okay. Start at the bottom. There we go. Nope, so of course I used the wrong side because I put the tape on the other end. There we go. I like this technique and I only just tried it a couple of weeks ago. It's been around for a while and I hadn't tried it. Oops. So I've tried it, and I like it. It's a fun technique. And you can use strips of designer paper. You can use strips of cardstock. As you see, you can use strips from paper pumpkin kits. You're only limited by your imagination. Some days, my imagination is very limited. That's when I go. I go to Pinterest. I'm not artistic, so I can't sit there and look at um, blank piece of paper and have all these wonderful ideas come to my head right away. I'm just going to cut off this one so I can use this piece. I'm going to cut it anyways. So. There we go. But thank goodness for Pinterest. Like, there's people out there that are happily creating every day. Oh, it's not long enough. Of course. They happily create every day. So why should I reinvent the wheel when they've already invented it? There. So that's what it looks like from the back. And then you just take your scissors... And you cut around the circle like this. Now you could go in with the die if you wanted and recut it with the die, but you don't have to. This works well. I still have that song going through my head. You know that you make me happy? I didn't want to do it. Okay, just about finished. Chunking away. There we go. So there's our circle. couple of strips left and if we use that as our card base put that 
boat there. I lost the U. There it is. And then you can go right in the center like that. Maybe this needs to go off to the side. And maybe we need some ribbon on it. Okay, I'm going to cut this. Oh, get in there. And I'm going to make it into a card front. See what size it ends up being. Over there. Okay, so that only needs to be four. But I'm going to cut it there. And then this will be five and a quarter. By four. Okay. How does it look against the blue? You Oh, the blue. This one? No, not a fan of those two colors together. Let's see what it looks like on the envelope. Uh oh, that was not a very good cutting job right here. All right, that's better. I don't know. It's going to cover up all those lovely gold things. Maybe we need to do it like this and put that there and then wrap some white twine around it. Get, so let me get some white twine. Um, what other what other ribbon do we have that I can use? Mm, nothing. Nope. Might have to put that on a on a card like it's really flimsy if I go to wrap twine around it I don't think it's going to work I might have to put it onto a piece of cardstock just because it's quite flimsy because of course it's an envelope not a piece for it do you have a gold circle you can slide under side of the green to break it up um, I can make a gold circle. Where's my white twine? This has to go a little bit longer on that side. Now, do you want the gold to show through that that circle, Connie? Is that what you're thinking? Well, I tie my my little bow here. Let's get a knot because then it's easier to work with. What time is it? Oh, getting on in time. These are supposed to be quick classes. Apparently this one's not quite so quick. Okay, let's move that up a little bit. 
just a small circle to slide under the side to break up the green. Okay. That and that and that and this. A circle up there. How about a stitch circle? Let's use a couple of, because this one's got rings around it. Um, that size or smaller? I'll go get some gold while you tell me. Is that the size you're thinking or smaller? bit smaller. Okay, we'll do the next size. I'll cut the next size down. Now, like that. I can hear the frogs starting out there. Oh, that's cool. I love circles. Okay, get some dimensionals on here. There's the, there's the circle, there's the circle, I'm going to be like that, I should have placed those gold things a little bit better, let's see what if I turn this around, no, that's going to bury most of them. What happens if I pull that one up, turn it around? Oh, I can't, because then it's going to be going in the wrong direction. It's just going to be what it is. Okay, let's move this over a bit more. So we have more room to play. And this goes here. Now, should we put this underneath like that? Or should we put this underneath like that? Yeah, I, like, I like it like that with this underneath. So put these this down but we'll put it only half of it okay there's the dimensional so I need to go up to that one I didn't make sure my rib my twine was on there even let's do that yep okay Make that straight. This one. Oh, apparently there's an adhesive sheet on the back of this. Ah. That's handy. And we'll just tuck this in here like that. And then we'll put 
that, but I have to stamp something on there first. Where's the stamp set? Um, just for, yep, that's the one. Just for. And I think I'm going to use black. Okay, now, what do you think? There or there? Right there, I think. Just gonna tuck a couple of dimensionals in behind there just to hold it in place. Oh, look at that! Hey, let's get this on a card base now. Oh, let's pop it up. I think it needs to be up. I have the technology, we might as well do it. Put it on our card base. Make sure it's going the right way. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Good idea, Connie. Some days, I just need a little push. Okay, hey, now put some bling on there. A little bit of a an edge there that needs to come off. Uh, what have we got? I'm looking up all of my. How about some butterflies? They took away the, the gold things. Oh, hello, Janet. They took away those those gold, whatever they were called. And we'll just put a flock of butterflies. One there, one there, and one up here. That is awesome. Okay, inside. Butterflies. We need to put butterflies inside. We need butterflies. One of my new stamp sets has butterfly in it. Where is it? And what stamp set is it that has a butterfly? Well, this birthday piggy has a butterfly. It's a little one, but it'll do. I need a block. Overkill on the block, but that's okay. That 
and an envelope. Now, what have we got left of the envelope that we can use on the inside? Nothing. 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 There's not much left of that there envelope. Unless I cut it. And we did that. Mm. Hang on. Let's just do that. That's the envelope. We can put the rest of this on here. Oh, it's, apparently I need to cut it down a little bit more because I can see the glue. Okay, we'll try this. That on there, like that, and get um, what color should the butterflies be? Hmm, what color should the butterflies be? Tell me what color the butterflies should be. Starry sky, maybe. We have starry sky butterflies. Okay, let's attach this first. And then I'll have to cut it off a bit. that right up against the edge like that and snip off those little pieces come on Oh, that wasn't where it should have been. Shoot. Okay, this is not working out. That made me unhappy. Come on. I tried to do random and it didn't work in my world. So now we got to start all over again. Okay, let's try this again. Up here. And one there. That's what I meant to do. Now, I'll just run a few cute little butterflies flying up. There we are. Now, put that inside the card. I like this alternative card that we came up with. Good, ch good choice. Oh, wait, wait. This is pulling up. 
I just tuck some more adhesive underneath there. Look, Mung. I got Mung. I got a new eraser. Should we see if we can erase that? No. I don't know whether these work or not. doesn't work on the envelope, apparently. That should be over just a tad, but, you know, I'm letting it go. There we go. Awesome card. Thanks so much. Look at the texture and the... Oh, I love it. The dots. Great card, ladies. Thank you so much for your input. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the journey. And have a wonderful weekend. I'm planning on a live on Monday, but it all depends on what happens in the weekend. Address levels, labels will cover it. It will. Um, I may not make it on Monday night, but... We'll see what happens. I'm planning on it. I have a card already and prepped for you. So have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you soon. Stampin' Smiles. Bye for now. Thanks, ladies.